Hello, this is a Coleman PowerMate Maxa 5000 ER generator, but not mine. I borrowed this from the internet because I forgot to take pictures before I started this project. I decided to see if I could add a wheel kit from Harbor Freight to the Coleman. It was surprisingly easy, but I only have pictures of the finished product, not the process. You can see the kit is not that complicated and the instructions were helpful as a guide. The video shows how I installed the various components. I needed a pretty tough drill bit to get through the angle iron I used for mounting the handle. Then I drilled holes in the frame for the wheels and the rubber feet. It was a fairly easy process. Just a lot of measuring and drilling and tightening bolts to keep everything secure. Basically just follow the instructions that come with the Harbor Freight wheel kit, except you have to drill the holes needed to mount the various parts. Unlike the Harbor Freight generators, the Coleman didn't have the pre-drilled mounting points. Of course, I also had to attach the angle iron to the frame using carriage bolts I had lying around. I drilled four holes in the center of the iron to match the holes in the handle assembly, then used the enclosed bolts to attach the handle. The result, other than the generator needing a good cleaning, looked pretty good. It, while not as heavy as my Predator 8750, the wheel kit makes it a lot easier to move around. And yes, despite how old this reconditioned Coleman is, it runs fine. That's about it. Thanks.